Hello everybody, in these exercises we're going to be doing some more work with geometric probability. This time we're going to include sectors areas and segment areas of circles. See for numbers 1, 2, and 5 here, um, pretty easy in the setup. The shaded region is just 70 out of the whole circle, 70 over 360. It's a decimal that comes out to 0.19. So about 19% of the circle is shaded. Um, for number 2, we got 60 and 110. The angle measure we're missing is 190 to make that whole 360. So we're going to take 190 over 360. That gives us 0.53. About 53% of the circle is shaded. For number 5, kind of the same deal. Here's 60 degrees. Here's another 60 degrees. It's 120 over 360. So that comes out to 0.33 rounded third. And then we go back to number 3. A little bit of work involved here. Let's first figure out, in order to get this shaded region called the segment, we first have to look at the entire sector of the circle. Okay, the area of the sector of the circle. We got 90 degrees here, so we got, we're going to set this up to find the area of the sector, 90 over 360. And then we multiply that by the entire circle, which is 16 pi. 4 squared times the pi, and then that's going to reduce to 4 pi. Now we need the area of this white triangle here. We're going to need that to know to subtract away from the sector, and that'll be left with the shaded region. It is 1 half base times height. Well, the base and the height are the same. 4, 4, that comes out to 8. Alright, what's left is to get this shaded region. 4 pi minus the 8. Now we're going to divide that quantity by the entire circle, 16 pi, because we want a ratio, we want the probability of choosing a point in the shaded region. And this comes out to 0 0.09. Okay, so number 4, we're going to do kind of the same deal. Uh, we first need to figure out the sector. And the sector is 120 over 360 and we need to multiply that by the entire circles area which is 6 squared 36 times pi and all this reduces to 12 pi so that is just this whole sector now we also need to work on finding the area of this rectangle or this triangle because we'll need to subtract it away like we did in number three now what I'm going to do is drop an altitude right there cut that in half. We'll redraw it down here so we can analyze it a bit further. We know the hypotenuse is 6. 120 degrees cut in half. We know this up here is 60. This angle down here is 30. So we're dealing with a 30, 60, 90 triangle. Hypotenuse 6. Short legs half of that. 3. Long leg is the short leg times radical 3. Alright, now we're getting somewhere. We now can compute the area of this entire triangle. One half base times height. Now the base is this right here, which was the long leg of our triangle here. We need to multiply that by two to go the other way. Six radical three times the height, which we know is three. And putting this all together comes to nine radical three. Alright, I think we're ready to go here. Let's get 12 pi, which is the area of the whole sector, minus the triangle, 9 radical 3, all over 36 pi. Remember, 36 pi is the entire circle. We want the ratio of just this shaded region. All this in the calculator, we come up with 0.20. And there we are.